incorruptible. All the inheritance of us are corruptible. They fade away. All the price of the world, the crown of the world, the rewards of the world, the inheritance of the world, they fade away. But when you are born again and you abide in Christ, in that experience of being born again, then you are brought to an, an inheritance incorruptible, un, undefiled, that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you that's why it's good to get to heaven reserved in heaven for you then he tells us in verse 5 who are kept by the power of god through faith are kept are kept they don't wobble go in come out they remain they abide they are steadfast in the kingdom of God, they don't allow the cord of the temptation of Satan, the cord of the temptations and trials of society to pull them away. They abide, they are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. I pray you will not miss that heaven. I will not miss that hell. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. But you must be born again and abide in the grace of God and live the life by the grace of God until the end of time so that when the time comes from earth, you go to heaven and forever and ever, you'll be there in Jesus' name. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer. We've heard the word of God and we need to pray to him so that the grace of God will come into our lives, abide in our lives and we'll keep on walking in righteousness and holiness before him all the days of our lives. And then when the time comes, he'll take us to heaven. Yes. Let's rise up, open our mouth, and commit ourselves to the Lord. And the word of God will come. The word of life will work mightily in our lives. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Son already. If not his son, this is the moment to become a son of God. Christ has already died for you on the cross. Come to him. And then you will be saved. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. You measure your life with the scriptures. Always going back. Always going back to the scripture, what says the scriptures. That is the standard for the conduct, for our relationship, for our action, for our belief. The scriptures, not the opinions of men, not the standard of the people of the world. Religious people share the scriptures, commit yourself to the Lord that your life will be based on the Bible, on the word of God. 
of the Lord to help you to always stay with the scriptures all the time. As we have been taught, we have two type of sons. The sons who are still living in the flesh and the sons who are living in the spirit. Where do you belong? Call upon the name of the Lord. Are you living in the flesh? Are you living in the spirit? Those who are living in the flesh, they are mere nominal Christians. And such people will forfeit the privilege, the inheritance of the true sons of God. That's why you must check your life. In the work of the flesh is deep being manifest in your life. You need to come to Calvary. You need to seek the face of the Lord tonight so that the Lord himself will give you the grace, the power, the enablement of the sons of God. Those who believe in Christ, to them, are giving power to become the sons of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. This is what you tonight, and your life will be transformed. Your life will be healed. You will be a true son of God who walks in the spirit, who lives by the scriptures, who are led and guided by the spirit of the living God, who follow the direction of the word of God and the spirit of God, not the dictates of the flesh. Open your mouth, pray tonight. Call upon the name of the Lord tonight. God's word has come to us in a clear and direct way tonight. There's no mixing of war. You must know where you belong. The identity has been revealed of those who are in the flesh and those who are in the spirit. Let's commit ourselves to the Lord and make up your mind. You, the true Son of God, nearly born again, washed by the blood of the Lamb. And living in the spirit, nourished by the word of God. The word of God is the food. The word of God is the bread of life we feed on. Understand that this the, 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 the man will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds to the mouth of the law. Therefore, we give quality time every day before they go out to feed on the word of God. When they come back in the day, we feed on the word of God before they sleep. 
to make sure the word of God they eat it, store it, digest it, they are nourished, beat up, strengthened, empowered by the word of God. No wonder such Christian will be steadfast. Such Christian will be consistent. Such Christian will be strong in faith. Strong in holiness, call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Make a fresh commitment to regularly feed on the Word of God. Study the Word of God. Personal studying the Word of God. Going through the outline again. At your own time, in the house. Meditating on the word of God, on scriptures, allowing that word to set you in your heart, and then you live by them. You are controlled by the scripture, guided by the scripture, walk in the scripture. Pray tonight that the Lord will make you. The sun nourished by the Lord of God. Let's commit ourselves to the Lord. Pray. Tonight, be fettered on the scriptures, on the word of God, are true sons of God. So that the inheritance God has prepared for you will not forfeit it. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. God has prepared for us great and wonderful inheritance. We serve for those who are saved and sanctified. Call upon the name of the Lord. And this inheritance will be yours. Ask the Lord to help you and to guide you. Into the enjoyment of this inheritance. As you live according to the world. Enlightening. Strengthening in the inner man. Equipped and empowered. By the spirit and the word of God. In the name of the Lord. Ask God to help you to the part and pass you of those sins. Children of God, we will be with Christ in heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much tonight. Thank you for the word and bread of life you have fed us with. Thank you, O Lord of heaven, opening our eyes to see the privileges reserved for the sons of God. Lord of heaven, we are committing ourselves unto you that you will help us 
no one having sat under this teaching tonight, Lord, we miss that glorious day when the saints will be marching home in Jesus' name. The Lord has many and have cried unto you tonight, wanting to be true sons of God, turning away from sin, turning away from carnality, turning away from the works of the flesh. I pray you will cleanse them with the blood of Christ in Jesus' name, and you will give them that identity of the sons of God. Sons of God, born of the Spirit, born with the blood of Jesus Christ. Sons of God who are living and walking in the Spirit of the Lord. Sons of God who are nourished and beat up by the Word of God. Father, I pray we make every one of your children such sons of God in Jesus' name. All form of careless living, nonchalant attitude, God, not taking the scriptures seriously, wash out of the life of everyone in Jesus' name. And everyone who has decided, who has made up his mind to give quality time to personal study of the word of God and looking at all you are teaching us. The outlines you have given to uh, you are giving unto uh, unto all every Monday and all the time you will come at your feet. I'm asking Almighty God the grace to be able to be students of the world. Give unto everyone in Jesus' name. And as we study, we will live by the world. The word of God will be our food. The word of God will control our character. The word of God will guide our thought, our word, our action in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray that at the end, everyone, by your grace, by your help, Lord, Father, we make it to your presence. I will reign with our Lord Jesus Christ eternally in Jesus' name. Your servant you have used, our Father in the Lord, we pray you renew his strength. You empower him, Lord. And Lord, as he teaches all, help us to be obedient children of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered our prayer. Glory be to your holy name. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, answer Molon Femi Olubua, Ondo State Christian Association of Nigeria, Chairman. I bring good news to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the convener of Global Crusade with Kumuyi, is visiting Ondo State with the triumphant power of God in the next edition of GCK. A program that is touching many lives globally, saving many souls, delivering people from all kinds of bandages, blessing many homes and lives. It is now our turn in Ondo State as the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuye, arrives in Ondo City with a power part anointing program and titled The Triumphant Power Through Christ. Redemption between 25th and 38th August 2022. I am inviting you and assuring you that all through the six days of the program, there will be salvation, deliverance, healings, and many more mighty miracles at the crusade starting by 5 p.m. daily. The venue is Ondo Anglican Grammar School along Giffa Road, Ondo. Coupled with the Six Days Crusade is an enriching ministers, professionals, and church workers conference coming up on Friday 26th, Monday 29th, and Tuesday 30th by 7 a.m. each day at Oba Adesonye Civic Center along Adeyemi Ore Road. Our bishops, general overseers, pastors of churches, 
or minister of God at all level or a profession of any kind, you are all cordially invited to the global conference in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come, and your ministry or profession shall surely get the touch of the Lord. God is also inviting the youths in the state in a greater measure as the man of God shall also be ministering specifically and impacting on them in a special and anointed section called and titled Impact Academy on Saturday, 27th August by 10 a.m. at Ondo Anglican Grammar School along Giver Road. The entire Ondo State welcomes our Father in the Lord. Be there as God has promised that it shall be an unforgettable encounter with the Lord. And invited all Christians to be part of this powerful crusade. I will be there also. Thank you and God bless you. Every day, we fight to keep up with life's challenges. Humankind grapples with life's experiences. But a smile when victory is in sight. Affirms the soothing conquest strides. God will put a smile on your face. It's that time of the year to secure God's promises for your needed victory. I will see your blind eyes open. That cancer and that swelling, I will see it removed out of your body in Jesus' name. A smile. This August. Even before the prayer, the power will operate in your life. Now's your time to rise and smile. And of course, when we come to the final, amen. To my right, to my left, and online. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. An August visitor. This August. He's the GCK Kavina, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. He comes in triumphant power by Christ's redemption, ministering along with our guest music minister, Cornelius Cross. The sun will shine from the Sunshine State live from Anglican Grammar School on those states, Southwest Nigeria. That's the location for the next Global Crusade, 25th to 30th August, 2022. 1600 hours GMT day and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service. It's a GCK gift. Something from heaven, a gift from heaven, great from heaven, power from heaven. Package just for you. Every man, every woman, every child, youth and young adult and broadcast to the world live via satellite, social media, radio and television. All the states of Nigeria, all the countries of Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Canada, Euro, Caribbeans, in the Arab world, everywhere, put a smile on every face. So join us. And let GCK take you higher as we triumph through Christ's redemptive hour. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity to gather at your presence today. We pray that as you have come to your presence, you bless us through your word and minister to our hearts in Jesus' name. We pray that you fill our hearts, fill our cups to overflowing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Glory, honor, power, majesty. Be unto Christ our Lord, glory, hallelujah, glory, honor, power, majesty. Be unto Christ our Lord, glory, hallelujah, glory, honor, power, majesty. Be unto Christ our Lord, glory, hallelujah, glory, honor. Power, majesty, be unto Christ our Lord. I will praise God in my heart always. I will praise God in my heart always. I will praise him. I will praise God in my heart always. I will praise God in my heart always. What about you? I will praise God in my heart always i will praise god in my heart always praise him praise him praise him praise him 
Praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen. Praise him, 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 hallelujah, amen. Praise God, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, hallelujah, amen. No, you can't get to heaven without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. No, you can't get to heaven without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Sing it loud, sing it loud, loud and clear. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Sing it loud, loud and clear. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. No, you can't, no, you can't get to air without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. No, you can't get to heaven without S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Sing it loud, sing it loud, loud and clear. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Sing it loud. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N Whosoever says Mountain be thou removed By faith in the Lord It shall be removed Whosoever says Mountain be thou removed By faith in the Lord It shall be removed Whosoever says Mountain be thou removed by faith in the Lord, it shall be removed. I am thou whosoever, amen. I am thou whosoever, amen. I am thou whosoever, amen. I am thou whosoever, amen, amen. Amen, amen, I am the whosoever, amen. I say whosoever says, mountain be thou removed, by faith in the Lord, it shall be removed. Whosoever says, mountain be thou removed, by faith in the Lord, it shall be removed. I am the whosoever, amen. 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 He sent his word and he healed them. Oh Lord, send your word and he. He sent his word and he healed them. Oh Lord, send your word and heal me. Lord sent his word and he healed you. Oh Lord, send your word and heal us. He sent his word and he healed them. Oh Lord, send your word and heal he sent his word and he healed them. Oh Lord, send your word and heal me. Nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answers prayers, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answers prayers, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answers prayers, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer, nothing prayer cannot do. 
Jesus answer prayer, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer, nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer, Jesus sets me free. I shall not be bound. Jesus set me free, and I shall not be bound. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound since Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound since Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound since Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. You cannot be bound. Jesus sets you free. You cannot be bound since Jesus sets you free. And you cannot be bound since Jesus sets you free. You cannot be bound. You cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. You cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. And I shall not be bound. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet says, This is the day of the Lord's reign. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet says, This is the day of the Lord's reign. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing. Jesus breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke, breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. I'm free. I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. I'm free, I'm free by the grace of God I am. No more in chains, I'm born again. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. Yes, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. You know that I'm free, I'm free by the grace of God I am. No more in chains, I'm born again. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. Yes, I'm free, and I'm free by the grace of God I am. No more in chains, I'm born again. I'm free, I'm free. I'm free in Jesus' name. Oh, you're free, you're free, you're free in Jesus' name. You're free, you're free by the grace of God you are. No more in chains, cause you were born again. You're free, you're free, you're free in Jesus' name. I'm saved, I'm saved by the grace of God I am. No more in chains, I'm born again. I'm free, I'm saved, I'm free in Jesus' name. Free, 
I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. I'm free, I'm free, by the grace of God I am. No more in chains, yes, I'm born again. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free in Jesus' name. It sets me free, it sets me free, yes, he broke the bands of prison for me. I'm back to God, my Savior and King. All glory to God. He sets me free. He sets me free. He sets me free. Yes, he broke the bands of prison for me. I'm back to God, my Savior and King. All glory to God. Thank God I'm free. Thank God I'm free. Thank God I'm free. Yes, he broke the bars of prison for me. I'm back to God, my Savior and King. All glory to God. Thank God I'm free. Thank God you're free. Thank God you're free. Yes, he broke the bars of prison for you. You're back to God, your Savior and King. All oh, thanks to God. Praise God you're free. Thank God you're free. Thank God you're free. Yes, he broke the bars of prison for you. Your back to God, your Savior and King. All oh, praises to God. Thank God I'm free. My God is not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. I feel it in my heart. Yes, I feel it in my soul, and I feel it all over me. My God's not dead. My God's not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. I feel it in my heart, and I feel it in my soul. Yes, I feel it all over me. My God is not dead. My God is not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. My God is not dead. He's alive. I feel him in me, my heart. I feel him in me, my soul. I feel him all over me. Alive, alive. My Savior is alive. My Savior is alive. Alive forevermore. Alive, alive. My Savior is alive. Alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah. Sing to 
God, power, power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, all power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, yes, belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, power, power belongs to God, power. Power belongs to God, power, 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 power belongs to God, power. I am that I am, I am that I am. And old men and women leaders and members invitees and those who have been coming before do something new in every life in Jesus name wipe all the tears away take all the problems away everything we have had you are going to do do everything for everyone in Jesus' name. Break the backbone of their enemy. Destroy the works of the devil. Take every incurable disease away. Put their feet on victory ground tonight in Jesus' name. Put joy in every life. Laughter in every mouth. Let it be a night of total recovery for everyone. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I am blessed. Say that for yourself. God bless you. You can see now we're coming to 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapter 30. And I'm reading from verse 6. And David was greatly distressed. For the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abasa brought thither the effort to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? 
And he answered him, Pursue. Tonight, pursue. Yeah. You will overtake them. Yeah. You will recover everything. Yeah. For thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. I thought you'd say, Amen. Yeah. Recovering what we have lost brings joy, brings new life. When you recover what you have lost, it brings a new drive in your life, a new determination. If I got this, I'm going to get more. It brings a sense of fulfillment and a source of inner strength. Brings courage to begin life all over again. And you understand that abundant life is going to begin afresh. I just read to you about David and his men. They lost every sin that was precious to them. That brought sorrow, brought distress, emptiness, discouragement came. They had disorientation. There was inner turmoil. And there was total exhaustion. But then, just wishing. I wish I could have all. That doesn't solve the problem. David went to God in prayer. And he said, Lord, look at my circumstance. Look at my situation. What do I do now? Should I pursue them? If I pursue them, will I overtake them? If I overtake them, will I recover everything from the least to the greatest? And God answered. God is going to answer you tonight. And he said, pursue. Why? Then he said, you will overtake them too. And then three, you will recover all. Understand? He didn't even fold the sand. The unthinkable has happened. The terrible has happened. What can we do now? We're helpless. We're hopeless. They've taken everything away. No. He said, I have a God in heaven. I will talk to that God in heaven. Whatever is happening to you tonight, Whatever has happened to you before tonight, we have a God in heaven. We're going to talk to that God on your behalf. Yeah. This thing you have lost must come back. Yeah. Your blessing must come back. Yeah. The totality of everything that has gone out of your life, everything must flow back into your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. No part of your life. No part of your family, no part of your possession will be in the hands of the enemy. Yeah. And tonight is your night. Yeah. Don't look now, I want to catch your face there. I said, tonight is your night. Yeah. A night of total recovery. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? A night of total recovery. You have cried enough. You have been sorrowful enough. The times of dejection and the times of regret. Why am I here in life? That is enough. Now everything is going to turn around. Joy has come. Laughter has come. Abundance has come. David prayed. David pursued. David prevailed, and David recovered all. I'm talking about you tonight. You are that David tonight. As you pray, as I pray, an explosion will take place in your life. The dynamite of heaven, the bulldozer from heaven, the caterpillar that will take all that mountain away, that thing is going to clear away. I said that thing is going to clear away. 
Because as we pray, we're going to prevail tonight. And everything lost in your life, in your family, in your business, in your Christian experience, you got it tonight. I'm reading from 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 5. Verse 1. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable. Because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. But, 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 he was a leper. All the victories became nothing. All the triumph became nothing. Look at the man. Riches, wealth, popularity, national position, national whatever, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little mage, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, my master, while with the prophet that is in Samaria, would God, I wish that my master will get to the prophet in Samaria. Ah, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. I said, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. Are you there today? Where are you today? Ah, recovery has come. I said, recovery has come. In verse 3, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Incurable disease will vanish away. That mountain of a problem, mountain of a sickness, will vanish away tonight in Jesus' name. Leprosy will vanish away. Cancer will vanish away. Blindness will vanish away. That hunchback will vanish away tonight. And all those problems have been carrying about, and it's a reproach, a reproach, a reproach upon your life. Tonight, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Look at verse 4. And one went in and told this Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is in the land of Israel. And then it goes on to say, And the king of Syria said, Go to, go. I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and he took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now, when the letter, when this letter is come to you, behold, I have there with Saint Naaman, my servant, to thee, that's to the king, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Did they send him to the king or to the prophet? Let me hear you. And then he went to who? He made a mistake. But all the same, you see at the end of the story, that mistake was nullified. Whatever mistake you have made, and you go this way, instead of going this way, you are still coming back to the place you ought to be. Recovery will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. Verse 7, and it came to pass when the king of Israel read the letter that he read his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive? 
that this man does send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel with me. The scene almost turned to another war, but there's no war. I said there's no war. You left your place and you came to Samaria. I thank God the problem is solved. I said you left your place and you came here tonight. What are you? Are you there? The problem is solved. Verse 8. And it was so. When Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he said to the king, saying, Wherefore, as thou rent thy clothes, let him come now to me, and ye shall know. Somebody there tonight will know. And ye shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses, big man, VIP, and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go, and wash in Jordan, tell me, seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean and thou shalt be clean but Naaman was wroth, angry and went away and said behold I thought it's not what you think I said it's not what you think I thought they'll rub oil on me no problem. I saw they would lay hands on me. No problem. And you find somebody there that is angry. No problem. After the anger, the miracle will come. Yeah. It's having wrong thought. I thought this is what they will do. And then he said, let's go back home. No, you are not going back home without recovery. Yeah. You must get it tonight. And then he said, I thought it will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of his of the name of the Lord is God and strike his hand over that place and recover the leper and not a banner and papa. Don't mind all the arguments. After all the arguments, miracle will come. Don't mind all the wrong reasoning. After the wrong reasoning, miracle will come. Don't mind the thought that is going on in your mind. How about this? How about that? Don't mind all that. After all those thoughts that is uh, struggling in your mind, your miracle will come. Yeah. And not a banner and papa rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. That doesn't cancel the solution. The solution is coming. I said the solution is coming. I look at you tonight. Whatever you do, whether you stand up or you sit down or you put your head on the ground or you put your legs up, tonight, tonight, you will not live here without a miracle. Tonight is the night of your recovery. All those problems are going to be wiped away tonight. And whatever happens, and whatever does not happen, whatever you do, whatever you don't do, before you go out of that gate today, miracle upon your life. Look at verse 13. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great sin, wouldest thou not have done it? How much more rather than when he says to thee, Wash 